Okay, so, you know, as I was driving, I was thinking about, you know, what my personal goals are. I know for me personally, I do hear God's voice, but, you know, what can, how can I even work on becoming even stronger in hearing his voice, you know, learning to trust him for any specific details about somebody that I could minister to, uh, details about my future, things that God would want me to do. And, you know, it's like I said in another video that it's getting to that place to where you can learn to decipher the voices that you hear, whether it's the enemies, gods, or ourselves. So the only way that can really be dealt with is by spending more time with God. And the more time we spend with God and learning to hear his voice, the more we're going to be able to pinpoint his voice. Now, for me personally, you know, I can, my voice in my head sounds like mine that I would hear. The enemies speaks and it sounds like my voice. And then when I have God, so it's writing down exactly what I'm hearing and being able to decipher, you know, which voice is which. And mostly, you know, when I hear God, it's like I'm taking dictation off a blackboard. But sometimes, maybe the flesh can get in the way to where, you know, I would be writing God's words down. And then there would be a pause. And then a thought would come in. And... If I don't stop it, then I'm going to be writing down my desire, you know, any thoughts of my desire. So it's getting to that place to where we can really pinpoint God's voice. And, you know, just it, it takes really spending time with him to do that. So I really, if you're hearing God already, if, if possibly my videos helped you into you know, starting your own, you know, deeper walk with hearing God's voice, you know, writing what you hear down. I pray that this video, you know, even helps you with any possible goals that you can work toward in, you know, hearing God's voice. So this is going to be a quite short video. So I hope it's really to the point for you. Now, you may hear God for yourselves or for somebody else. Maybe he told you something about them. So, you know, God knows your desire if you want to even go even further. So you could just wait there and say, you know, even ask God a question. God, you want me to minister to such and such person. I ask that you would tell me what they're wearing. So he can give you specifics about what they're wearing. And, you know, I've, I've, I was in a prophetic class where, you know, before we go out to minister to people, we would ask God what specifics about what we're to look for, you know, what they're wearing or, or whatever. And so we would write that down and then we go out and we'll look. So you could do the same thing as well. If you're hearing God, I mean, you can ask him, Lord, what do you have for me in the future? You know, what do you want me to do this day? You know, wake up and, you know, you hear God, you know, first thing in the morning. And he may tell you what he wants you to do. He may give you goals in your future. He may tell you exactly what he has planned for you. So it's take, it, it takes, you know, really taking time to spend with him and, you know, really hearing his voice you know, pushing every other thing that's not important aside so that you can hear him. Now, how much more can you work toward? I mean, you may already be hearing his voice, but can you ask for more detail from God? Can you wait just five minutes longer to hear, even if you may not be hearing anything? You know, what are some goals personally for you in hearing God. So, you know, you may want to sit, you know, and think about that, what you can do. Or you can ask God himself, say, Lord, what do you want me to do? How can I work on hearing you even better?
and just wait for his um, his word. Now you can ask God for s specific instructions like the example I gave. You can let God plan your course. And about hearing him daily, you know, for me personally, my goal is really to get to that place to where I can hear him speak to me no matter what I'm doing. <clears throat> I could be driving and all of a sudden God's voice speaks to me. That's what I really want to get to because right now, you know, I think about, you know, any kind of issues that come up. Or, you know, sometimes I do think about him, but I don't let him, you know, speak. You know, there's so many things that goes through my mind. So it's really pushing those things aside and really, you know, listening to his voice. So if I can get to that place to where I can hear him, maybe I'll be driving and I can see somebody walking and then God gives me specifics about that person, what they're going through. You know, just to talk to me, you know, because God knows everyone, obviously. Uh, maybe he can give me specifics when I'm driving to minister to somebody that he wants me to. Maybe I could be driving and I see somebody walking and then God says, stop the car and go to them. You know, something like that. And like I said at the beginning, it re really requires becoming familiar with his voice. And really that takes intimacy with him to be able to know exactly what his voice sounds like and I gave an example already in another video to where let's say if you're blindfolded and you know somebody that you know brought somebody to you that you already know so you don't see them you can hear their voice and you can tell whose voice it is so the only way you can tell whose voice it is is by spending time with each of the people that you do know so in the same way, with us spending more time with God, we can become even more acquainted with his voice. So when, no matter what we're doing, we can hear God's voice and, you know, giving us instruction. So, you know, he may be speaking to you and to me, but we dismiss his voice. You know, that's because we don't know it. You know, maybe we think it's just a random thought that's come in. So, you know, how many missed ministering opportunities have we missed? So, before I close, I want to try to give, you know, some possible goals to may, maybe get you started in that direction. And then, and then on your own, you can ask God to give you even more to work toward. Now, if I'm not going to, I don't want to put any kind of potential, you know, condemnation in place. I mean, these aren't goals that are imperative unless God tells you that they are. But, uh, and I'm also not saying that spending time with Jesus is not important. It's so important. We need that. We can always spend more time with God. But I don't want to set unrealistic goals for you. That would put you into a place of condemnation. I'm just putting out, you know, ideas in your in your intimacy with God in which we can work toward. So here's some here are some goals. Now you may hear him, but how about all the time? You may hear him. How about specifics and detail? How about being so intimate with God where he shares his personal desires with you? And lastly, letting him plan your course. So I'm going to end it here. And I pray that this uh, video has really maybe given you that desire to even, you know, walk even closer with God. So I pray this video blesses you. Thanks for taking the time to watch and God bless you.